protecting against electric arc flash. An electric arc flash only lasts a fraction of a second. But during that time, it creates a pressure wave, flames, and extreme heat, sometimes reaching temperatures over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Arc flash hazards are present when work is performed on or around energized conductors, meaning utility linemen, electricians, and maintenance workers are some of the most likely to be exposed. In 29 CFR 1910.269, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, provides arc flash protection regulations for workers involved in the operation and maintenance of electric power generation, transmission and distribution lines, and equipment. OSHA requires employers to analyze the potential arc flash incident energy exposure workers could face on the job and ensure they have PPE with the appropriate corresponding arc rating the NFPA 70E standard for electrical safety in the workplace provides guidelines for protecting industrial electricians and maintenance workers against arc flash. This standard requires performing a hazard analysis, but as an alternative to matching PPE to the incident energy exposure, it provides tables of common tasks to help determine the proper protection level. NFPA 70E outlines four PPE categories with minimum arc ratings for each task. Category 1 is a minimum of 4 calories per square centimeter. Category 2 is a minimum of 8 calories. Category 3 is a minimum of 25 calories. And Category 4 is a minimum of 40 calories. Both OSHA 1910.269 and NFPA 70E refer to ASTM F1506 for protective clothing performance requirements. This means that in a flammability test, the fabric must have a char length of 6 inches or less, with a maximum after flame of 2 seconds. Additionally, the fabric must have an arc rating, either an arc thermal performance value or energy break-open threshold. When selecting PPE for protection against arc flash, be sure to review the regulations and standards applicable to your industry. Determine the potential arc flash incident energy exposure, and then find a garment or garment system rated equal to or greater than that exposure. In all cases, protective clothing should cover all potentially exposed areas, including any flammable underlayers, which means you'll need long sleeves and long pants. To ensure proper protection, coveralls and shirts should be zipped or buttoned up, sleeve cuffs should be secured and never be rolled up, and shirt tails should be tucked in. Want to learn more about safety hazards, standards, and selecting the right FR clothing? Browse our other educational videos for lots more helpful tips.